Hi everyone, David here from DavidDumeAudio.com and in this video, I wanna show you my process for creating and designing natural ambiences. So recently, I went out for a walk in a uh, nearby uh, forest park and uh, was able to get grab some nice uh, forest ambiences, a lot of birds and stuff like that. And um, so basically, I wanna show in this video like how I created, uh, like design those ambiences because straight from the recording, they didn't sound that great. And uh, so I processed them a little bit and that's what I sh wanna show in this video. Uh, before we jump in though, if you uh, haven't checked the description, I have some free sound effects there for you. Uh, I'm gonna include uh, some of the recordings uh, and maybe even uh, like a, a loop of the uh, ambience that I've designed for this video. All right, so let's get going. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start by importing the sounds here. And these sounds, I um, recorded all of these with uh, Lom UC Pro going through my Zoom F6. So let's just have a listen to what we have. So a few things that I noticed. Uh, and that I first noticed when I imported these into my uh, DW is uh, one that um, I, I was moving a lot when I was recording it. I, I didn't bring a stand or anything with me, so I, I was actually like physically holding the microphones. So you hear a lot of like clicking and popping, and uh, sometimes me like shuffling my feet because I was getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. Um, so that that's one thing. So we're, I'm gonna cut a lot of these um, clips out. Another thing is that there was a lot of no, low noise, so I didn't put on a low pass filter, which I probably should have done, uh, but I didn't do that. So we're gonna do that and start there for editing this. So um, let's just grab an EQ. Uh, I like to work with Neutron 2. That's just because that's the one I, I know. So let's have a listen in here. So if you have some earphones on or just like good speakers, you can really tell uh, the difference here. It just really cleans up that low end. Might even put a cut down here. Okay, so this is the first thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna kind of chop up some stuff here so that we have a section to work with. Let's work with from here to here, it looks like it's somewhat clean. So let's work with that. So for natural ambiences, I always like to do like a nice long fade ins and fade outs. So I'm gonna cut this section here because I'm clearly shuffling around that. Okay, so that's pretty good. So and just by itself like this, um, like this could be okay. And um, there's a few more things that I wanna do though, or at least try. So one is I'm gonna import another uh, take that I took uh, from this forest here. I was actually at a different part of the forest, but it should sound somewhat similar. So let's have a listen to this. So I think for this, I was actually in an open area. So it's gonna sound a little bit different. So again, I'm just gonna cut this out. Whoop. Put this here, do a nice fade. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, again, I'm gonna copy and paste that same um, EQ here setting that I had to this new one. So I have a similar EQ. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start panning them left and right. So I'm gonna keep this, this one here as my um, center. This is gonna be my center. Uh, audio, and I'm gonna do this one as, um, let's do left to start. So I'm gonna use recenter for this. And I'm just gonna really pan it left here. So if I leave it the same width as uh, that I took it at, you can't really tell it's on the left. 
I mean, you can, but not really. Uh, but as soon as you hone in the width here, you just it's, it really sounds like it's on the left side, which is what I want. So I just really want that that bird to sound like it's coming from the left side of your, of your screen. And I'm gonna do a few other things here. So one is uh, I want it to sound a bit further away because our center uh, audio here is what's gonna be right in front of us. So this, the, our, the ones I'm gonna pan to the left and right here, I don't want it to sound like it's close. I want it to be a bit further away. So what I'm gonna do, uh, just a trick here, is just bring down uh, a high shelf here. It just sounds like it's further away. So if I play together now. So it just makes the ambience quite a bit more wide. And let's do uh, one more here. I'm going to pan it to the right. Let's have a listen here. Okay, so that one you can hear me. So I'm just going to cut this ending out here like that. And I'm going to do something similar again. Just going to drag that low pass or sorry that that high pass EQ on there. And I'm also going to put again recenter on here and just click multiband. Mono, I want it to be centered, even though there shouldn't really be any kind of low frequencies at this point. And I'm going to pan this one uh, almost completely right. And again, bring the width down a bit. So it really sounds like it's on the right. And again, I'm going to do uh, the same EQ trick from before, where I'm just going to bring down the high shelf. And I'm just going to hear it in contrast with the uh, center audio here. And now what you'll notice is that they really sound way too similar. So you have this one bird up here that sounds exactly like the same bird call down here. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a pitch shifter here just so that it adds variation and it doesn't sound like the same bird here. So let's try that. That's a little bit too much. Just doesn't really sound natural, so let's do try that. And again, I still feel like it's a little too close, so I'm gonna bring this down. Again. So that's good. So now let's hear all of it together and see just how they kind of interact with each other. So I can hear myself shuffling in there. Anyways, normally I would just cut that out, something like this. I'm pretty sure it's from this file here, so I'm just going to let that. Okay, so that's pretty good. Now, um, one of the things that I might want to do is, because there's sometimes it feels like empty, like I'm missing uh, some bird calls or something like that, and it, all you're hearing is kind of some, some noise, I, it just cut out a new bird sound. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to cut out a new bird sound. Just kind of put it in there, so let's hear this. And maybe this one, instead of having it pitched down, I'm going to pitch it up a little bit, like that. And maybe it won't be so far off to the right, maybe I'll put it like that. And there you go. So let's let's compare right now for like what we started off with and what we got. So this is was our starting off point here. And it sounds okay. Now let's hear what we got. So 
So one of the things I'm hearing is on the left side, there's a lot of bass. So I'm just going to fix that here. Like, I don't want to hear that noise. It's just sticking out way too much. So let's do a uh, comparison now. So kind of subtle, but I think it really adds to the ambience. So there's a few more things I'm going to do uh, to kind of glue this together, and that is to add some reverb. So my go-to right now has been um, Stratus 3D, just because they have some exterior uh, reverbs, which is kind of nice. So I'm just going to look through a few presets here, see what we can see what they sound like. So let's just have a listen. So th right now this is just on the master bus. So that's pretty good. I might also add, like sometimes I'll add another one. I might even add recenter just to see how it sounds when everything's glued together. I think it's too much, so I'm gonna take that off. And there you have it. So this has been um, my process for um, just editing and, and designing a bit of the ambiences. Uh, it's not much, you know, just making sure I clean out a bit, uh, removing some of the low end, especially if you didn't you do that in the in the recording, and then panning some stuff left and right, and putting uh, different sounds in the, in the stereo spectrum in the stereo field, so that you you get uh, just more interest and more bird sounds and things like that, and it just sounds a lot better. All right, so let's move on to another example here. All right, so here I have some uh, storm sound effects. So there's just a storm ambience that I recorded at my house. So I'm just gonna do something similar to what I did before. Uh, again, just doing some fade-ins, fade-outs. Now what I like to do for rain is to mix it with different frequencies of the rain. So sometimes I got rain uh, recorded like really up close, like near um, like eaves troughs. And then sometimes I got like more distant rain. So I'm just going to try to blend them together and see what kind of sounds I can get.
So these are very kind of uh, like noisy rain and you get the 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 noise of the rain, but I want to get more of a like a water sound. So let's see if I can get that here. So here you get the sound of like the water in the eaves troughs. So I kind of like that. It sounds a little bit more, it's, like it's a different quality of sound. Like you're getting a different sound in there. So I think it'll match well. So let's see if I can just clean it up a bit. I don't want too much lower in here. So I find there's a lot of noise. I'm going to see if I can clean it up a little bit. There you go. I think that's okay. That's pretty good. And again, for this, I could I could do something similar like what I did before, where I would take some like thunderclaps and put some on the left and right. Uh, but for the purpose of this video, I think I'm just gonna leave it like this. Um, but yeah, this this so far has been my um, my way of like cleaning up ambiences and creating these natural sounds. Um, of course, you're not designing them too much because, of course, you want it to sound as natural as possible. But hopefully, you have an idea of what you can do to, um, I guess, get a bit more out of your recordings that you um, have maybe created or or, or whatever uh, recordings you've done from natural ambiences. So, anyways, I think that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If I missed anything or if I could have done something better, let me know in the comments below. And of course, a reminder of those free sound effects that I'll leave uh, in the description below, just of some of these ambient sounds that you've heard and maybe even some of the um, like raw recordings that I did. Uh, maybe I'll even include some of those in there. So if you're interested, have a look at that. And uh, for now, I think that's it. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.